Joining us right now is a very special guest, Sir Lindsay Hoyle, Speaker of House of Commons UK. So, welcome to Sunset TV and thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you for being here and hosting such a wonderful conference in this fantastic conference centre. What a different India this is. In 2008 I came and the infrastructure was just about beginning. I come back and I just see a new India, an exciting India, India that's going to lead the world. So to be here is such a privilege for me. Thank you so much, sir. And also the fact that it is India's G20 presidency. Uh, we had Delhi Declaration with almost 112 outcomes and presidency documents. There was undivided focus on a lot of issues, a lot of contemporary challenges facing the mankind and the entire world. How do you look at India's G20 presidency? I think it's so important, isn't it? You know, we come as the oldest democracy to the biggest democracy in the world. And it's about how can we get the rest of the world to copy ourselves. I think we're a great example about what is good about people, representing people and giving the people the voice. And that's what worries me. Because it should be one world. It should be one family. But I do worry that it will be two families, those in the free democratic world and those who do not have that liberty that we take. In fact, we have people who don't support what we stand for. They do not believe in a ballot box. They believe in terrorism. And we must always stand together, shoulder to shoulder, to ensure that democracy will always win. And that's why it matters so much to be in India, to be an absolute numbers of people who vote. And what that is fantastic. And I want others to learn so much from this conference, to take away. And it is so sad when we sit around this room thinking that we could have a peaceful world, yet people here do not share our values and do not share our belief in democracy. Absolutely, sir. And since you're talking about democracy, P20 Summit, the ninth edition of P20, is being, whole, uh, is being hosted by mother of democracy, largest democracy of the world. The big takeaways for you from India's P20 summit that is being held? Well, the one thing is, to be with the biggest democracy in the world, of course, I'm always going to take that back. But I'm in awe of a construction that's done of major infrastructure, whether that's seaports, whether that's airports, the major road that's going in. This is exciting India. And I take back, and the meetings I've held, whether that's within schools and education here, meeting the business people, the businesses that are investing in the UK. It's that closeness, that working together. I want to take that back and just say, India's open, but so is UK. Fantastic, sir. And before we wrap up this conversation, further strengthening ties between the UK and India. There's always going to be there. We are one family, and families must never fall out. So I go back and say, thank you, India. Thank you for hosting such a wonderful P20. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. Namaste. Thank you so much Namaste. for talking to us. Thank so, you. Thank you. All the best. Bye -bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Reporting from Yashwabhumi with camera person Vinod and Kruti Mishra for Sunset Television.